Hey, hey. Spring Lafay, Zimplantera. Okay, Aquarius. I have got the big gemstone oracle cards. Yeah. <clears throat> I am feeling them, so we're going to go with them. And I feel like to do it the way I used to do it. Haven't done it that way in a while. Okay. Okay. I'm going to close my eyes and see what draws me in the cards. Okay. Love these cards. Okay. Okay, and I've got my book ready. Rose Quartz. Look at that beautiful heart. You know, rose quartz always gives me a feeling of love, and it's just got such a feeling of um, love being put into to your life, or put it needs to be put into your life. Rose quartz. Open your heart to the source of all love. And your creative spirit will unfold. So open your heart up to love. Okay, let's get our next one. Turquoise. Oh my God. And I do have some rose quartz around here. Some tur turquoise. I've got some rose quartz around here. Um, See, that right there's got pinkness, like a rose quartz in it. I don't know where my rose quartz. I've got so many, so many stones and crystals around here. But um, turquoise. Remember, you are born of the heavens and nourished by the sacred waters of life. Tiger eye. I've also got some of that around here somewhere. Okay, and cat's eye, but that's tiger eye. The message is, you are worthy of having prosperity and love in all areas of your life. And then we have agate. Some of that somewhere too. Well, I do have one. Um, well, not close. Okay, agate. Step back, take a deep breath, and relax. And then we have unicite. Look how beautiful. Love yourself and all you do unconditionally each day. And then we have this beautiful card right here. And what I feel from this is basically loving oneself. And really, this to me has got the feel of the Empress. This has got the feel of 
taking control of your own life, loving yourself, and, you know, if you're not there, you need to start. You need to start. It's very important. Um, this has got that feel. It just does. It's so um, <sighs> confident. I love that we got that card. Yeah. Okay. So next, I actually want to take um, some more gemstone oracle cards, but these are different. This deck right here. I would like to get um, the same number. Thank you, Spirit. Okay, <clears throat> let me get my little book here. Our first one is fluorite. Look how beautiful that is. Absolutely beautiful. Number 24 on there. Let me find it in my book. And I will tell you what I have wrote down for fluorite. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, this is an awesome crystal or stone to have for grounding and harmonizing your spiritual energy. So, you don't have to have any of these gemstones. The energy will be with you if you believe. Next, we have Smithsonite. And that is the number 51. Let me find it. This is a stone that um, helps with, well, with calming. It's deeply calming. It helps to instill a sense of peace and unconditional love. And um, it can also be used to help to actually release emotional wounds, especially deep emotional wounds. So it's a very good um, stone, crystal. You can also, um, you know, actually know that these stones will be with you when you meditate, and that will help you greatly. Um, now this one here can actually stimulate, um, have a sti it can help with stimulating the psychic abilities in one. So, and it can also help you with communicating with spirit during meditation. So that's something to remember. Okay, let's get this one. Sunstone. Oh my goodness, it's so beautiful. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. That's the number 55. You know, that's fives. Fives are about change. Um, actually, I want to look that up. Just give me just a split second here. I'm going to look up the angel number 455. And because, you know, if, the big thing about fives that comes to me is um, change and how change can sometimes be very overwhelming. It can actually be uh, very hard. Okay, let's see here. Okay, the, the meaning of the angel number 55 reminds us of the importance of cultivating positive energy and saying yes to great adventures because ma major life changes are ahead. So... Yeah, like I said, change. Get ready for some major change. And be ready. You know, be ready to cultivate that positive energy. And be ready to step outside of your comfort zone. 
that's awesome. That's got a good feeling to it. Okay. Then we have um, Argerine. And that's the number one. So, beginning. You know, right here you have this and it's like you're starting something new. A, a beginning of a new adventure. It's got such a good feeling to it. Okay, let me let me backtrack here to find my A's. Okay. Okay. Our ar argyring is a stone of integrity. Okay, aligning with one's convictions in life. This stone helps provide the courage and confidence. To follow those convictions. Encourages acceptance of self and others. Encourages one to follow the heart. And that takes me back to, you know, the talk about a new adventure. You know what I'm saying? And being ready to, to say yes, to step outside of your comfort zone. That's awesome. Okay, and then we have Moonstone. Oh my goodness, I love Moonstone. Moonstone. Let me show you the stone. And I mean, I showed you the stone. Let me show you the card. That is the number 37. And let's find Moonstone in my little book. The Stone of New Beginnings. What did I tell you? <laughs> I mean, you know. Seriously, this is starting something. You're starting something, or you're going to be. Um, that's awesome. It's got a good feeling to it. The stone of new beginnings, a stone of inner growth and strength, provides calmness, enhances intuition. Wow. Awesome. That's awesome. And then we have this last one, Soda Light, number 52. Soda Light. Okay. Let me find soda light. Okay. Aids to bring forth calmness to the mind. Helps encourage rational thought, truth, and intuition. Enhance self-esteem. Self-acceptance. And self-trust. So that confidence that you desire or that confidence that you need to bring into your life if you haven't. This is awesome. This is an awesome reading. Oh my goodness. Okay, now I actually want to get a randomizer number. So let me find it. If my, I don't think it's going to work. Okay. That's not going to work. Well, we did look up 5-5, five, five, so that will work. Um, actually, I want to take, I want to take, um, I want to take a couple of these cards. Chakra cards. I may even take some of the chakra um, tarot cards. Ooh, okay. See? Enlightenment. So, passion. Wow. Abundance. So you're being enlightened. You need to be enlightened because you you have a passion about you. And, you know, it's got such a good feeling to it. We've got two yellows and an orange. Um, yellow is the solar plexus chakra. And eating yellow vegetables and fruits will be very beneficial to you at this time. Also, watch the water that you drink. You know, try to find water that is free of, oh my goodness, all of these additives. Okay. And then, um, you know, with the yellow, that is explore your thought process. So, yeah. Explore your thought process. And then we have the orange, which is sacral chakra. 
orange fruits and vegetables could be very beneficial. And that is learn to observe your emotions. Okay. What does the a tarot have to say? Ten of Wands is carrying a lot of burdens, and then we've got the Tower. Okay. Show me more. Okay, you've got someone that's someone that's watching you. Actually, you had some sort of ending at some point in time that left you. Well, you were carrying a lot of burden before it ever ended, but you know. So I don't, I don't even honestly. It felt like it left you in a worse position, but after I feel like after you thought about it, you were already in. A bad position on whatever that was with whoever it was they didn't cherish you like you, you know you thought they would um, see it affected your home it affected um, your life it left you they're showing me okay thank you spirit okay and when they threw these out here they were reversed now I'm not taking them reversed but the thing is is it's showing me that that was then. They're showing me what was then. Okay. Had a relationship. Three of three of coins, you know, three of pentacles. Often um, is about a relationship. Four of wands. Had to do with family, home, you know, and such. Okay. Four of coins. Feeling like you had to hang on and cling on to everything. Four of cups. Looking back... That's what you've done. You've looked back. Now, here they are. Whoever this was, they dwelling. They're dwelling. They're coming in as the King of Wands, and they're dwelling on you. See, this was reversed, too. They did not give you what you desire. Nope. So, I, I really don't want to even know about them. Okay, show me other than that person. Yeah, see, that emperor is, is reversed. They were not who they were supposed to be. Knight of Wands. They were playing with you. They played with your emotions. They played with your energy. And the thing is, is, you know, you've had to really find the strength, protect yourself, you know, standing up against what well, you, you were, like, battle-worn, yeah. And... Yeah, ten of, ten of coins. You've got yourself there. You're doing your own thing. You're creative. You're doing your own thing. Now, do you see the memory? So, this person's a memory. It's ended. It's done. It's over with. They're getting some of their karma. Yeah. Um, and they want to come towards you. The thing is, is you don't want them to come towards you. They didn't hurt you. They're showing it all right here. You're not manifesting that. Uh, whoever this is, they're dealing with someone else. Um, or they have been. They want to come towards you, but they're leaving behind someone else. See, you're coming in as the empress. And that person hurt you. And, you know, you still hurt over it. You still do. You're manifesting what you want. And it ain't got nothing to do with them. Nope, it don't. And you're starting new. You're starting your new journey. And um, you got someone new coming. Okay, so you're going to have a choice. This is showing up a lot. It's going to be a choice. Show me the other person. The Wheel of Fortune's right there on the bottom. Okay, can I see the other person? The other choice? Nine of Cups. Princess of Wands. Okay. Oh my goodness, this is a wish come true. They're not Princess of Wands. It's going to take you by surprise. You're not really expecting 
I feel like you're not really expecting this. It's kind of like they just kind of come out from nowhere. Goodness. Nine of coins. They got themselves. They're going to be very truthful. They're going to come towards you. They're going to make you happy. Two of cup relationship. Look at this crap. Oh my goodness. This is gorgeous. Oh my goodness. New beginning. But you'll have to make a choice. I don't feel like it's going to be that hard for you, to be honest. I really, really don't. See, you've been staying back. You've been doing you. That's what you've been doing. Yeah, there's the hermit. Devil cards here because you dealt with some crap with that person. They put you through the meal. I, I just, I be, honestly, unless you've got kids with that person and, you know, it's, I feel like that if that's ended and that's over with and it's done, even for some of you that's got kids with them, if, th that could have happened way back. And they've been dealing with some karma, bad karma. And it's like, I don't know if they got a wild hair or what, but, yeah. But, see, you're manifesting something totally different. Now, for some of you, you know, that may work with that person. They may have changed. Um, but for, for, <laughs> for the biggest majority, I feel like you're going to move on. You're moving on. I feel like you done done it. Um, like I said, it feels like they're, they were with someone. So, yeah. I don't know how kindly you're going to, you know, you took to that. So, that's what I've got for you. This is, this is awesome. You, you stand in that confidence. You have done the work. You've done, you've put in the effort. And now is your time to shine. Don't you let anyone take your light away. You've got this. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please do. Thumbs up. Leave me comments. I love them. And uh, much light and love. Till next time. Bye.